Now, oil doesn't just uh, help our engines run, it fuels the world economy. And the global oil giants BP and Shell have given us the latest snapshot on how things are going. BP posted profits of $933 million in the third quarter of this year, but that's actually down 48% on the same period a year ago. There was some better news over at the rival Shell, which beat expectations to make something like $2.8 billion over the same period. That is up 18% on a year ago. Uh, oil, I'm sure you know, has had a really rocky year so far. In January, it dropped to its lowest level in over a decade at around $28 a barrel. It's currently hovering at around $50 a barrel, a little bit lower than that. But it's a big improvement, but clearly way down by persistent problems when it comes to oversupply. Uh, joining us now from the New York Stock Exchange is Michelle Fleury. Uh, Michelle, why is one company doing so much better than the other when it comes to their profits? Well, I think part of the reason, certainly, that investors have reacted uh, more positively to Shell's results than they have to BP's. Uh, is the fact that BP received a tax credit. So there is a perception that while oil companies generally are having to deal with a much lower oil price, if you think back to 2014, we were looking at uh, $100 per barrel of oil. Now, as you say, it's just below $50 a barrel. How do you adjust to that environment? It obviously eats into profit margins. Companies have had to cut their costs. Uh, they've had to reduce how much they plan to invest in the future. Um, all of this, obviously, all companies are, are facing. Uh, but investors feel that Shell is in a slightly better position and that BP's numbers look better because of a one-off one tax credit. Uh, what sort of impact have currency markets and movements had on these companies' results? Well, it, oil is priced in the dollar. So, of course, uh, the dollar being very strong certainly has a, a knock-on effect on profits. Uh, it means that, that obviously they're looking at reduced profits when they convert it back to their own currencies. Uh, that is, uh, of course, an issue when you compare them to, say, the American oil majors. But I think the theme, Victoria, is the same across all of them, and that is they're all trying to adjust to this environment. Uh, what was interesting was that the CEO of Shell, Mr. Van Burden, made a comment saying that, that companies were getting better, getting closer in line to sort of their business with the current price of oil. The question, of course, though, is how long will it stay at these levels? Uh, and that, he said, uh, he was unsure of at this time. Yeah, they certainly seem very cautious, don't they, in their forecasts. Now, some of this can feel a little bit removed from, you know, the lives of ordinary people and, you know, uh, and talking about things like Brent crude and Texas intermediate, uh, funny words. But why does any of this matter to sort of the person on the street? Well, look, I think if you have a car, if you, if you drive anywhere, uh, then you'll be very familiar with, you know, the price at the pump, how much you pay. Uh, at the moment, prices are lower, um, so that works to consumers' advantages. Um, ultimately, though, when they do eventually go up, uh, that will obviously hit people's pockets. So for, for now, enjoy those lower prices. <laughs> very wise words. Thanks very much, Michelle. Now, the Bank of England Governor Mark Carney says he will step down in June 20.